of the proposed candidate, I can only urge this Congress to unanimously endorse the nomination which have come from the constituencies. Long live the revolution. Long live the National Democratic Congress. Long live <coughs> the flight on the uh, retired John Rawlings. Long live Ghana. So, NDC people have been celebrating since the members of the diplomatic corps were there. Uh, is that Coin Kensenaka I see there? Uh, so if you see them, you can tell me what their names are. This is Coin Kensenaka, is him, yes. No, is it him? No, it wouldn't be him. This is a scenario. This is Harry Sawyer. Uh, this is Obeda Samoa sitting next to Harry Sawyer. So uh, this is uh, oh J H Oswe Champon and Ohine Jekum. Alaji who do yaya over there? Uh, P V Obin. Yes, that's P V Obin. You can't miss that one. Uh, Alaji Mama Idrisu and Betty Mold Idrisu. Hey, these are old pictures. So that's J J appearing at the uh, at the rally the next day in Cape Coast. Still in military gear. JJ was still in military gear when he was going to accept nomination to be a civilian candidate. Alaji Hudu Yaya is with him, the general secretary of the party. This is the first congress of the NDC. Yeah, JJ hoist the NDC flag. He has accepted the NDC nomination. He is going to be the NDC candidate for the election coming up in 1992 after we have come back to democracy. Nana Kunedu Ajiman Rollins, always whispering to JJ, always whispering to JJ. The two love birds have been in love for a very long time. So that's the story. We're just starting, by the way, so hold it there. That's 1992. That's Flight Lieutenant Rollins accepting the NDC nomination in Cape Coast. So NDC's relationship with Cape Coast, it didn't start now. So after this one, um, oh, I keep forgetting to turn my scale. Okay, let me, t oh, no, 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 no. shouldn't fall. Okay, there, yeah, there you go. All right. So. After this, then the issue about NDC coming together with other political parties. You see, um, before the 1992 election was fought, it wasn't very obvious that NDC was going to win because it was believed across the country that people didn't like JJ. Uh, JJ had killed people, and this and that and that and that. 
Many people underestimated the penetration of the NDC in the rural areas at the time. It was also because there was no media. The, the plurality of media was not there. So the voices of the opposition was heard in Accra only. And the opposition uh, philosophy did not penetrate across the nation like it does today. So the NDC message had gone down, down to the people. They had been seeing JJ on stage broadcaster Ghana Television for 10 years, and they had fallen in love with him. They believed that he was an honest, genuine leader. That was the impression JJ carried, accountability, property, and all of that. And the NDC adopted it as their mantra as well. So even though the election was going to be a one-sided big victory for Rawlings, before the election, it didn't seem like that. Because of the history in the minds of the older people, they knew that the Nkrumahists were powerful and the Dankwa Buziais were powerful, and that the NDC was a third force, and you heard Obeda Sama talk about that. So to sort of cure this defect, it is believed that it was the idea of flight lieutenant Rawlings that would bring some of the Nkrumahists together. And it will, it will surprise you to find out that not all the members of the PNDC believed in forming a new political party, no. There were those who were staunch in Krumais, like Captain Kojuchi Kata and others, who believed that they should form an Nkrumais party and float the name of Kwame Nkrumah and use that to defeat the opponents of Nkrumah, who were the Dankwa Buzia people who had already set up Dankwa Buzia Club. So these four men came together and, uh, and, and formed a very powerful force in the Nkrumais. And I refer to the photograph here, Colin Kensen Aka is here, um, Roland Atakesen, Reverend Kwekubuati, and Captain Kojo Chikata. We have to name them as part of the NDC story because they became the alliance that joined the NDC to be able to be successful in the 1992 election. When the results came out, it's clear that without the NCP alliance, the um, Rawlings would have been successful anyway. But I, I'm showing you this photograph so that I go back to the story and then you can really understand what happened. So remember these names, Coin Kensenaka, later to be vice president. Roland Atakesen, famous lawyer, famous in Krumaist, he passed. Reverend Kweku Boateng, whose son became the first African uh, deputy chancellor of the Exchequer in Britain. Uh, Lord Paul Boateng, whom you know, his father, Reverend Kweku Boateng, a seasoned politician, was an Nkrumahist. And Captain Kojochi Kata, who was also a very staunch Nkrumahist. Now, these four men came together to, to form a sort of a formidable force on the, on the Nkrumahist side, and JJ uh, could not resist to bring them on board along his party. Let's hear the testimony of Faustina Nelson, who tells us how it all happened uh, before Koen Kensen Aka became the running mate of Rawlings in 1992. Surprisingly, the late Kweku Boateng, who was then the leader and uh, presidential candidate, supposedly, of the NCP, was, he became resistant. He was very adamant and insistent on being the presidential candidate, and that he vowed never to play second bid, uh, fiddle to the NDC candidate that was President Rawlings. So as an impromptu decision, the, the seniors of the party, the Ahoys, the Chikatas, the Tetagas, and so on, just resolved. I, I believe they had this in conjunction, this decision in conjunction with the hierarchy of the NDC then. So they brought in Aka, that because it was like Aka would play ball and that he would agree to be the vice presidential candidate of the Progressive Alliance. The late Aka also started grumbling about, according to him, not being treated well. I remember that a few times that I went to him in his office at the State House, as soon as he saw me, he said, hey, Auntie Fosti, now one mama done put my to the bed. Arise, arise for Ghana, Official of the land. For when and seek your future, people of men are good from me.
Ghana. I was chanting unity. 